Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be building a brick mailbox. The one that we have kept getting hit by our neighbor, I think, while they were backing out of their driveway. And they broke it off several times, so I ended up just having to put it in a bucket with some dirt around it temporarily while I built the new mailbox. So I'm gonna dig down about eight inches down into the ground, pour a small slab on cement underneath, and then I can start building the brick on top of that. Now, if you're in the area where the climate is much colder, you have to worry about frost. You'll want to go down much deeper than this, but I don't really have that worry where I'm at. There isn't much frost. It's not going to go that deep, so I'm just fine with eight inches. Now after I mix up three bags of cement, I can level this out and get this ready for the brick to go on top. Next it's time to mix up the mortar and start laying the bricks. Now I have the split in two sections. The right side will be a flower box, the left side will be the mailbox. I cut a hole through the bottom of the slab so that the water can drain out and it won't flood the plants that I plant there. Now as I was working, I had an audience, my daughter was watching and having a lot of fun playing in her pool. I just thought I'd show you guys how cute she was. She kept bugging me to spray her off with the hose and have fun in the pool with her. I picked about just the hottest day to do this, so it would have been nice to be in a pool, but I had to keep working. I had to pause the work as a rainstorm came through, but now that it's dry, I can get back to laying brick. I needed some more cement, so it's back to the store to grab some so that I can finish the mailbox. Shopping with my daughter is a whole lot more fun. It takes way slower to get through the store, but she has so much fun pushing the cart and helping me out at the store. So the bricks that I'm using are very different. None of them are uniform, they're different thicknesses. So I constantly have to be checking both that I'm going square as well as staying level across the row. Or else by the time I get to the top, it will be way off and it will be irreversible at that point. So I'm gonna check each row before I lay the next, make sure I'm staying on the right track and then keep building. It's now the right height to start adding in the mailbox and build the bricks around that. Now I took off the flag off the side of the mailbox. I'll attach that to the side of the brick after I'm done and the cement has fully dried. Of 
quite a few of the bricks in order for the mailbox to fit in there. I have to cut them and trim them to the right size. I don't have a cement saw, so I'm just using a cement chisel and slowly chiseling it out to the size that I need. Again, another rainstorm came through. I had to quickly cover up the brick before it got washed out, and I waited for it to dry up, and now I can get back to work. For the roof of the mailbox, I'm going to be using this 24 by 24 cement paver. This has river stone across the top and the sides. It looks really nice with this brick. I'm just going to double check, make sure that the door opens freely and cementing it into place hasn't caused that to get stuck or anything. But now I can start cementing that top down onto the brick. If there were two of us, I could easily just put the cement down, lift up this cement slab and set it on top with all the mortar already in place, but I'm working alone. So I'm going to lift one side up, put a piece of brick underneath that will allow me to fill in half of the mortar. Then I'll move to the other side, lift it up, put the brick under, and I can fill in the rest of the mortar. Then I'll take out both bricks, let it set down on the mortar, and I can level it and smooth out the mortar joint. Now I'm going to level the top, make sure it's in the right place, and I'll take a hammer and just lightly tap the top with the handle. You don't want to use the hammer side of this or else you could crack the paver, but I'm just lightly hitting it with the rubber handle. This will soften up the mortar and allow it to settle down on whichever side is higher. That way I can easily level it, then I can smooth out the mortar joint and make it look all nice and finished. Now I'm so sorry, I was really bummed to find out when I went back inside and started uploading my videos, the camera had an error. It lost a lot of the footage of adding on the numbers onto the front of the mailbox as well as the flag on the side. I also added one row of brick on the side where the planter is and then added one more row of the brick in half tilting up on ends that looks different than the rest, adds a nice edge around the top of the planter. Now again, I'm so sorry I didn't get that footage for you guys, but in a second I'll show you how I mounted the flag on the side and the numbers on the front. And for these bricks, I just used a cement chisel, cut the bricks perfectly in half as well as I could, and then I cemented those in place like I did the rest of the bricks. All right, so the flag I mounted on the side of this mailbox, I used a cement drill bit, drilled three holes, put in some plastic dowels, and screwed that to the brick. Now I had to bend this flag a little bit so that it would clear the bricks. Along the side, you can see here, one of the bricks sticks out farther than the rest, so I had to put a little bit of a curve in the flag, but it still looks fine just from the side and works great, so we're really happy with that. And then I also added the numbers right underneath the mailbox. Again, used a cement drill bit, put in a couple plastic dowels, and screwed those numbers to the side of the mailbox. All right, guys, that finishes up my video for today. Thanks for watching. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button. And if you want a notification when I upload a new video, click on that bell icon. And also, don't forget to give me a like on this video as well. Also, let me know what you think of my new branding. I just finished designing this new logo for my channel for a one-year anniversary. I really put a lot more time and thought into this design. 
My previous logo, I was in a hurry to get my channel started and just wanted to get out there. So I wanted to update it and make it look a lot better. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.